Guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Nino Kuni. I hope you guys are excited. Because I'm excited. It's been like a week since I last played this game. And I kind of forgot what I was doing. But according to the save stuff, I gotta go talk to uh, Esther. Yeah, that's what I gotta do, right? I hope so. Well, I mean, that's where the star is. So. Yeah. Time to go save Esther. Also, this is technically new content for the channel because we never got this far in the last playthrough. Anyways, we have opened oh, Esther's heart back and now we can fix it. And we're gonna give her Myrtle's courage. When her heart's wide open, we can give her the courage. It's gonna be a grand old time, a, a great old day. Except I don't think that makes sense. I don't think anyone's ever said that. A grand old day. A great old day, whatever. Anyway. This is a cousin, guys. Gotta whisper. Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Ashar. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. Wow. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. What's the clarion? The clarion? Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. Dude, there's a god. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long is it like now the since the call of the clarion was heard? Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. It's up to us. The clarion will ring out again and we will be the ones to play it. So assertive. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. She's gonna make sure Thank you so much, Mr. Rashad, sir. Did you hear her voice, man? Oh, you gotta think of a voice for Esther. Probably not, though, because I can't do it. There's something in my throat, so I might sound a little bit different. Yeah! Yeah, there it was. Um, um, Alright, uh, let me cut this. I'm probably not gonna be able to do a voice for Esther, because I just can't hit those highs. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, let me go with you, Oliver. I'm gonna help you fight Shadar. I have a familiar with me, just like you. Come on. Dude, she has one of those necklace pendant things. It's like she's a relative of Marl. Whoa, you can fight with familiars, too? Indeed, the, indeed she can. Uh, Esther is... T t t Esther handles familiars. Okay, so she's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard. Uh, fair enough, useful folks all around. Okay, this is my Drago, and his name is Gogo. So say hello, Gogo. Pick me up before you go, go. Oh, that's what you should have named him. Uh, tidy, now that that's settled, let's get down to business. Do you remember what my young Oliver came for, eh? Yeah, that made sense. Mr. Drippy! Well, I do. You want to learn the arts of the sages, right? Yeah. Well, then you'll need these new spells. Well, I don't think you ever use puppet strings. It's like one of the forgotten spells. Uh, you use that like once. Uh, you use this a whole bunch in one area once. Um, that's another battle spell. It's water. Like, there are a bunch of spells that are given to you, but are never used. Like, they might have had uses, but they, like, might have got left out. There's a whole bunch of them later on. Uh, anyways, uh, apparently we don't lack determination. We're going forward with determination, that's not actually what it is, but I don't remember exactly. 
Um, it was your actions that revealed your origins to me. You healed Esther when I could not. And you helped her. And you're the one who... And the only one who called that world home could have done such a thing. Oh, the other world. Okay. Uh, wow. So Oliver... is from the other world. From one of the other... One of the other worlds? What? Jeez, the multi-universe theory is getting all up in here, man. Big bang. Boom. No, oh, man. It's like a dream. Other things that only... Okay, thanks. I'll lay you down. I'll beat Shadar. Perhaps, but you need more training first. Uh, without complete command of the magical arts, you can't hope to defeat him. Four great sages could not overcome the dark, the dark gym and Jin and for a mere boy to do so will require more than enthusiasm alone. Yeah, the dark gym. The dark ages. When you go to the gym and all the lights are broken, but you still have to work out. And it's all sweaty and nasty and the fans are broken. Dark times. Mm. Mm. The trials of the north at the desert at the temple of the temple of I don't know something the temple of time the temple of trials oh the temple of trials really that's it yeah the home of the supreme sage and master of familiars yeah you have a lot to learn a lot to learn too Esther only those with the Supreme Sage's blessing are permitted to open the doors to the temple. You know, I guess I will accompany you. Thanks, Father. You'll be great help at the trials. Oh, you'll be great at the trials, Oliver. You know, I just, I just know you will because I'm going to be a main character now. Well, thanks, Esther. Thanks, Mr. Rashad, sir. Wow, now we have a temporary party member to go along with our new permanent party member. You can tell... Because Esther has a thing at the bottom and Rashad doesn't. Can I do that yet? No. Which one is the move button? Is it not going to let me do that, really? Yeah, I guess it won't. That sucks. You can't do any of that stupid crap until the game teaches you how to do it. What is this? What's a guy? Uh... Something, something. Um. What does he have? Oh, uh, Oh, I guess that says kindness, maybe? I thought it said enthusiasm for a second. My TV kind of sucks. I should probably get, like, a flat screen. Well, you know, I guess it's kindness or courage because it's letting me take it. <laughs> Alright, um. I kind of want to talk about something that's interesting so now that we have uh, more pieces apart uh, the kindness and the courage uh, quests will appear in like uh, Ding Dong Dell and other areas that weren't there before because we didn't have those pieces apart we didn't know they existed up to that point but now that we know they exist um, yeah now that we know they exist and stuff like that um, you know we can do stuff with it Okay, there is a quest over here. I thought there was. I remember doing a quest over here. About a kid in a book. Oh, 50 guilders. I thought that was a piece of bread. Ugh. What's in this pot? A sour sundae. Whoa. Okay, that's actually really good. Crap, which one likes sundaes? Magic defense. Oh. Oh, hey, you know what? I think this guy has the magic defense. It might be magic attack, though. Never mind, I guess. That's the second thing of this form of the Sunday. There is something over here. Cool. I got a whole loaf of bread. Anyways, we got a quest over here. And there's this kid. And I gotta change the camera so it's more better suited. Okay, there. Oh, you cannot have it back. I am not finished with it yet. What's wrong with you? Yesterday you told me you would return it. Hey, you two, stop fighting. What's the problem here? The problem is that this thief will not return the picture book that I have lent him. It's, it's only the picture book, you know? It's a poor one at that. Who cares, man? I care. It was a birthday gift. You, and you were gonna give it back now. And stop bothering me and go away. Jeez, he's heartbroken. 
and he's lost every ounce of enthusiasm, I think. That might be kindness, though. He's brokenhearted, and we need to fix it. You know, I think it is actually kindness, yeah. Alright. Let's give it... Oh yeah, this episode might be a, have a bit of side quests in it, by the way. Like, probably the rest of the video will be finishing up some side quests that we can finish. Dude, I gotta get this crap out of my eyes. Game, stop doing stuff for a second. Oh, jeez. Alright, um, hey, what happened? Uh, not, I intended to return the picture book to you, but what happened? You meant to return it? Really? Well, of course, man. You know, I'll go get it now. Forgive my insolence. I don't know. Well, thanks. 100 guilders and two cups of strong coffee, man. It's a good thing it's strong coffee and not like mild coffee or weak coffee because you just can't have that. That doesn't count. Oh, that over there. Oh, you know what? Uh, he's here. He's here. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. There's also this guy. I'll talk to Raj first, though. Ugh. Curses, I lack the necessary ingredients. <gasps> what to do? I've done okay. Well, uh, the recipe for the most legendary of Mooney dishes has come into my position. possession. But, you know, I don't have the ingredients to make it. What kind of dish is it? It's known as the Tiki Mahalo. According to the recipe, it, it is complex and refined. It is a complex and refined curry made with the tenderest and most succulent beef. Okay, that sounds really good. But I could, I, I could go for some of that right now, man. That sounds fantastic. Would you like to try it? Well, if you gather the ingredients for me, you can have the honor of being the first guy to taste it. Since ancient times. Wow, geez, this is old as, like, uh, the gods. Apparently, if it's ancient times. Anyways, uh, to create the dish, you need some, uh, some, some fluffy rice, uh, tender beef, and a pinch of the Sheikah's Special Spices. Sheikah's Special Spices? Where do we get those? Well, you know, I don't know right now. But I've heard that it is known that there is one known as the Sheikah of Spice somewhere in the town. And that sounds like a good place to start, so go find him. Um, don't hesitate, I don't know. But anyways, um, you can buy the beef and the rice in the shop, in the boutique. But the spices you need to do another side quest for. Um, have we done that yet? I think we've done that side quest already. Yeah, I think we have, actually. Yeah, here's Horus again. Horus! I'm gonna... Hello! That makes sense. Nice to see you again. Did you have fun crossing the desert? Fun, it was flippin' boiling, man. Boiling for you, maybe, Pip Squeak, but I'm a ghost, and ghosts don't feel the heat, so there! Ugh, what are you doing here, Horace? Well, I'm looking at these fountains, and they're amazing, you know? They squirt out milk, and all the milk a boy could drink. That's what Al Moon is famous for. But the spicy smell coming from that food stall is mixing with the smell of the milk and it's really strange. And milk fountains themselves would probably be disgusting. And so mixing it with like a spicy curry smell would probably just make you want to gag. I don't know. But anyways, there's still a bunch of spells that you probably don't know all over. You know, well, I'm trying, but the wizard's companion only had gateway. All the other ones were missing. Well, I had to give you gateway. I had to give you spirit medium, didn't I? Yeah, when well, Mr. Give me Drippy gave it to me, you know, it just had gateway. Wow. Okay, so the pages didn't turn out. I bet it was that idiot Shadar. Well, alright. I suppose I better help you fill it back up again. Well, there's generous. Maybe I was wrong about you being a stingy little midget. I moved to the camera and I said. Well, I'm not just gonna hand over a load of pages, if that's what you're thinking. Um, I'll roll out to prove his wizardly skills, and it'll be great. Um, and the wizard's companion doesn't just have spells, you know, there are a bunch of stories in there, too. Like, uh, that's get, been gathered by the sages over the years. But, you know, they've probably been torn out, too. You know, stories are pretty powerful, after all. They might inspire people to stand up to Shalar. 
Well, I'll give you one to get started. You know how to read. It's one of my favorites. So I can't really read this, but I think it's the Cowardly Lion and the Kid or something like that. I don't know. 15 minutes already. Wow. Well, did you read it? I'm gonna quiz you now if you did. Well, good. Alright, there are quite a few characters in the story. Can you remember them all? Tell me, who was the third smallest out of all of out of all the characters? Prince, the Lion King, the Dragon of the East, or the Dragon of the West? Alright, um, so I'm gonna be quiet here, and, like, I'll put it in, but I guess I'll be quiet if you want to read it yourself. I hope I spell this right. Hope I spelled that right. Uh, correct. Very impressive. Oh yeah, I didn't read the story, by the way. I just got it from the internet to save time. So sorry about that if you guys think I'm cheating. But anyways, my wizardly comprehension must be just as good as his. And uh, I'm gonna get a new thing. Wow, draw poison. Thanks, Horace. I suppose it was... Don't be mean, give me a question like that, but you know, you worked it out. Well, and that's what being a wizard is all about. Um, you know, learning to look carefully in every detail and understand what's going on. Uh, shut up with the old man talk, will ya? There's no flipping older. You're no flipping older than Ollie, boy. I'm not. Uh, I don't suppose I am. Well, at least I don't seem to be. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, it's strange, you know, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something really, 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 really important. Well, never mind, you know. I can't believe how this place has changed. Well, I'm gonna... Gonna go see the other towns around the world. You know, they're so different these days. I think I'll head somewhere with a nice sea breeze. Next. I might not I might not be able to feel the wind on my face, but I can still enjoy the view. See you soon. Yeah, he's gonna go to Castaway Cove next. Which is just great. Crap. Um. I don't remember what we have to do next. Well, I know what I have to do next. We have to go to the trial thing, which is like north of Alma Moon. You know what? Uh, where's the weapons shop? Um. I think that's the hootie. Don't rightly care for that at the moment. Hey, it's a person. It's a bite of beers the Asians. We pushed them several times and what? Oh, it's terrible. Um I really don't know what that says. Someone's ruining the banana fields. It's dangerous. Wow, you sure are brave. Courage! She's the bravest one I ever saw. Thanks very much, man. Alright, I'm gonna steal a piece of your heart, and I'm gonna kill you now. Great, now we have green. Now we just need all the other colors of the rainbow. Oh. I had a yawn, sorry. Um, what the heck? Did I not actually do this quest? Oh. Yeah, I guess it was. Say, it gets worse than mere sickness. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have said this. Uh, how much you don't want to make spices? And he asked why. There is no why. There's only emptiness. Mr. Chica? Uh, you don't know. Oh, you have customers who rely on you? Uh, perhaps I do, but I can't bring myself to do what they ask of me. I can barely make myself rise each morning. Well, what, what do you think is wrong? I only want to rest, you know, bother someone else, but... Dude, don't walk by the camera! That doesn't make it better. Um, there, now he won't bother me. 
Oh, it is? Well, you know, he drained every last thought from enthusiasm. That is like the one piece of art I don't have. Flip. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Please don't tell me that's the one thing that I don't have. Oh, I do have it. Okay, never mind. Good. Alright, I thought I didn't have enthusiasm for whatever reason. Yeah, it's a good thing to get that extra enthusiasm for this quest, because otherwise you'd have to walk all the way back to Ding Dong Dell. I think, but <clears throat> you might not. I don't know. By the beards of the ancients, what's this strange sensation? I feel alive. And I'm gonna make spices with more vigor. V oh, urgent. Oh, urgency. Than ever before. Wow, we did it. Oh, that really works. You know, I don't understand, but is this thanks to you? Then I'll give your debt. Oh, please accept this. Two sandwiches and a hundred guilders. Wow. Dude! Alright, um, hey, could you give us something? Your special spices? What'd you hear about that? Uh, keep your hair on. Well, we got, we got this guy who wants to make some curry. And he needs some of your spices to make it. Well, alright. I'll be glad to help. But, you know, I don't have all the ingredients right now. And you gotta bring me some. Alright, what do you need? Um. Uh. Something? Something. I don't... I have no idea what that says. I'm sorry. I'll look at it in a second. Alright. Um... What the heck? Why does they not say complete? King of Paris. I can't do that one anymore. Oh. I don't. I'll figure it out in a second here. Where's. Oh, is this Swift Solutions? Alright. <laughs> Holy crap, 22 minutes. I gotta end this off real quick. Hold on. There's someone looking for trouble in front of the cat's cradle. I really hate that quest. That's the Derwin quest. And he's another recur recurring quest person. Oh crap, these are new bounty hunts. I forgot. Alright, um... Lumberwood has appeared to the south of Golden Grove, and there the creature's roots always fetch decent prices. Uh, we have found the fiend who has been stealing our banana. It smells just like fr frightfully fleet of foot. Alright. Oh. I don't have any bounties to claim, really? Alright. At least they have some new bounties. Wait, what did you say? People with more troubles. Ooh, I have notifications on the iron board. Okay. Alright. Um. Let me go talk to Darwin and then I'll end the episode off because this next episode's gonna be kind of annoying, actually. Where's Darwin? There he is. That's not Darwin. What? Who are you? I'm so afraid. I can't bring myself to what? I seem unhappy. Well, you hear my tale of woe? Give me thanks. I'm afraid I'm on a journey to reach out stuff. Where are you headed? Village in the realm of ice. Whoa. People of this village are versed all the way. Versed in the ways of ice, and I hope to learn from them how to improve my ways. Yeah, by the way, that's how they Well, you don't understand. I can't go any longer, though I have invested much time. What is wrong? Um, oh, he's just missing courage. Okay. Why does this guy want to go to Yule? Yeah, spoiler alert, that's the name of the ice area. Why does this guy want to go there? That's like, so far away. Heck, you need a ship to go there. Cause it's like, an island, you know? Anyways, we fixed him. 
Ooh, three carrot cakes. Yay! We got a whole new merit stamp. Wasn't expecting that. Man. I guess I'll have to cut that out. Stupid people. Dude, press the right button, please. What the heck was I doing again? I forgot entirely. I did this. Alright, um, in praise. What the heck? Where's. It doesn't. Crap, what the heck? Oh my. Ugh, you know what? If I cut seemingly randomly, it's because there's like a notification. So that's why that happens, by the way. What do you want? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, he tells me where to find them. Cool. The Tormic Root can be from the Lumber Wood. Okay. Alright, uh, spicy something can get from the soil. Oh, okay, you get the root from the Lumber Wood, and then you, uh, get, yeah, you get the spices from an area later on. And you know what, I'm gonna end it off for you guys. Oops, that didn't work. Drippy. Drippy. That works. Alright, that's better. That's good. Alright, uh, next time guys, I'm gonna let's play Nino Kuni. Um, I guess we'll go to the trial place. That'll be fun. Won't it? I know it will. Trust me. You can trust me. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, guys. Jeez!